Hey guys, it's Greg, and today we're going to learn how to customize the Suffusion WordPress theme by Scienton Sina. This theme is great for blogs and review sites, which a few of you know that I love. Review sites are anything from a hotel review site, to a travel site, to a book review site, to a site about cars or video games. And it looks like this theme really blew up as of November 2015 and started getting more and more downloads. That might be why a lot of you on YouTube asked me to do this demo, because more people are downloading the theme. And I've done that. I've downloaded it on this demo site, which we're going to build on. And I've also built out a full website right here. Um, it's not 100% complete, but this site will teach us a lot about Suffusion and can get you going in the right direction on your site. I said this theme is great for review sites because it focuses our content well and review sites are all about content. It's easy on this theme to put the posts and your writing in the middle of the page and it's easy to use different layouts too. We can see that I got a different layout for my post as it was on the home page and that means you have lots of options for promoting your own content or other people's content lots of space and a lot of variety for your users to enjoy as they consume your content like through this featured post slider for example so I hope you're excited and before we start building this website out of this website I just want to say that in WordPress and a lot of things on the internet seeing is believing and believing is learning and on the developer site for Suffusion there is a great place to see other demos and other Suffusion sites. If you click this magic wand, this really helps me. You can see what other people have built with Suffusion, like this fellow, or maybe documentary.net, and several other professional websites like Steve Huff Photo, which I really enjoyed. And when you see stuff, you know that it can be made. And then it's a little bit easier to get the job done yourself and actually create some new stuff for your own website. So check out these demo websites if you need any inspiration or if you're stuck with your own Suffusion website. It's really cool how they give us these uh, different demo sites that are actually real serious sites, probably doing well online. And if it's out there, you can create it. And if you need help, that's why I'm here. Before you go any further and start building, I just want to tell you to make a few demo posts and uh, those will show up on your home page when you publish them like this. Just make three to five posts because a lot of the changes and the um, instructions you'll be getting here show you how to make those posts display nicely on the home page and uh, in the featured slider you need posts and in the sidebar. For example, one area that we can change in Suffusion options in layouts and in front page blog views is just how the full posts show on the home page like excerpt or tiles and uh, if we save that one change for example then we can see that when we refresh oops, wrong site then we can see that when we refresh our posts will show up differently on the home page. So having three to five posts is going to be really handy for the changes we're making today and everything we're going to learn. Just set up a post and if you don't have content that's real then put in some lorem ipsum dummy content from lipsum.com like I've done and make sure to set up a featured image too. All right, and we can jump right in now to some real creation, and we're going to actually make new pages as well. So if you want to do this with me, that's great. Or if you just want to use this time to get your site ready to edit, then that's fine too. I'm going to create a few pages called About, and that's going to use the default template here on the right, Page Attributes Template, Publish About, and I'm going to make a couple more pages. I'm going to add a new one for blog authors, which you might want to use if you have a multi-author site. 
and you want to use the template for blog authors for that one and publish add new again and one for login because that's also a template login all right and then we're going to get to see these page templates in action of course let's make three more sorry that this is kind of a lot but they really give us a lot with uh, suffusion so much for free in fact that it has the feel of a premium theme and this page is just called magazine publish add new and let's give ourselves a sitemap page called sitemap alright now if we click to check out the site we'll see our posts but we don't see those pages so let's continue by putting in a menu and then we can play around a lot with the menu one of the biggest features of Suffusion is these custom menus and you can change the colors, fonts, drop downs, all kinds of stuff like that. So let's go to our appearance menus and now we can just delete this existing menu because I don't want this one. Delete. Okay. And we're going to create a new menu which might be your first menu on this site and call it main menu or something like that something easy to remember and then we can select all on our pages and click add to menu alright these tabs look good but we also need a custom link that goes to the home page so let's grab that and paste it over this URL and just call it home that'll help to get us back to where we want to start on the home page all right, and then I'm also going to create a drop down here, which might be familiar to you. Hope it is. Uh, we're just going to indent the sitemap and the login in about because those help explain more about the site. And then pull this whole thing up and put magazine at the end. All right, now the tabs look great. And the next part is to choose the theme location. And Suffusion supports two main locations one above the header and one navigation bar below. Let's choose both and save and then refresh to see what they look like. All right, so you can see pretty clearly how this works. The top menu is detached from the wrapper, which is the main portion of the site, including the header and the bottom menu below the header is sitting right here above our content. Um, and I like this one, it has sort of a early 2000s, 90s almost sort of feel with the curved edges popping up almost like something you'd see on the Google blog and we're just gonna keep this lower menu alright so let's get rid of the navigation bar above header uncheck and save but keep in mind you can create multiple menus so you can have a completely different menu in the upper location if you want all right, we're doing great, and now it's time to finally go over to the Suffusion options and check out all that this theme offers us. And honestly, if it didn't say don't panic here, I might have panicked, and I might not be even making this tutorial at all, because some of these words like skinning make very little sense, typography, graphical elements, it all sounds really advanced and scary. So it's good to start basic and not panic as the theme tells us, thankfully. And let's just read the introduction. And then keep in mind that if you're upgrading from an older version of the site, maybe you're watching this tutorial because you have an old version of Suffusion and you're not sure what to do now, then check out the upgrade section and go ahead and do some migration if need be. The developer was really kind to lay out good instructions because this theme does in fact have a humongous user base of people that do need to move from an old version to a new version. And if that's the case, you're in good hands. Just go ahead and read these upgrades and read about the export import as well. But fortunately, we're creating a new website. We are trying out the theme for the first time, so we don't need to read this. All right, so let's start and check out skinning. When you're in skinning, you can basically do one of two things. You can click theme selection and choose from the preset skins, like green on a dark theme, 
and save and then refresh your site and it will automatically look different which are cool um, I like these a lot I like minima which is at the bottom where scribbles is kinda neat because we get the post-it note feel with that awesome mahogany wood background and this very well might be the direction you want to take your site because this looks beautiful um, but because we're customizing here in this tutorial we're gonna make our own skins we're gonna make that happen and it's gonna be easier than it sounds but you just wanna click on a section like navigation bar below header which applies to us and then click custom styles make sure to click custom styles otherwise you'll be making changes and nothing will show up because you have theme styles checked alright so custom styles and when you're using the custom styles it's best to have theme selection put on this shaded area for gray shade one on a light theme that'll set things really basically and you can create your own stuff and let's refresh so we're basically using a combination of this uh, gray skin and our own skin designs so let's go back to navigation bar below header because that applies to us and click here and now we can design the navigation menu so it'll look like this right here with this highlight colors and the right fonts alright so here in skinning navigation bar below header I hope everyone's with me we can select some uh, changes we can try the transparent no color navigation bar background which refers to the color across here alright So if we have that on white and we save with our custom styles and then refresh, then the whole navigation bar becomes white. That's just one change we could make, but we want it transparent actually because we don't want any color there. If you're making changes to the site and you're not seeing them, or specifically if you're changing things one way and then back to how they were before they might not show up right away because when you're changing colors on a site it hits the server with a call and it sometimes doesn't get registered if you're seeing that problem it's not your fault it's WordPress's fault you can try going into plugins and disabling WP Super Cache or if you've already done that then just try saving and making the changes a couple times One problem I've noticed with Suffusion is when you change back and forth from these default settings to new settings and back to the default, it cannot register for some reason. And uh, that's the best I can explain it. It just makes a call to the server that isn't registered right away. So for now, let's go down past navigation bar border, past the background font and the menu items, because we don't want to change those for now. And let's go to navigation menu items font where we can change the font of the text and let's change that to Times New Roman and then we can keep going to navigation menu items hover and in this section you can change the color that will show up on the tabs outside the text when someone hovers over them but what we want to do is a little more clever than just a hover color change we want to make a hover border color change and we want to do that on the right border. If we do that and choose solid and something like 10 pixels and I'm just going to drop in the hex color for a green that I've chosen in advance right here. Then when we save, By the way, you'll have to click save once and then save on the right link, which is always the top link or the top left link. Save page. Very specific. Now when we refresh, we should get some of the changes. Now when we refresh, like the font in the Times New Roman. All right, there we go. We had to change that background color back to transparent. That's my fault. 
And then right here, it looks like for the right border, we didn't check custom. So make sure to check custom, and that's going to be a recurring theme with Suffusion. You have to be very specific with your changes because the options they give us are so specific. More specific than really any other theme we've done a demo for. So let's save page again and refresh with those settings in there. And now we get this nice little section on the right of our tabs that will help users uh, see which tab they're hovering on without you know, showing too much color. And we can make that section a little bit wider, like 20 pixels. Now let's keep going down. And we're not going to do anything to the menu items when they're visited because that just means that after someone clicks around on your site it's going to sort of leave a trail of what they visited and show that different links and menu tabs are a different color or font and we don't want the site to change that much when someone's clicking around what we want is a different font for highlighted or for hover and the navigation menu items hover font is where we want to be we can set the font face to times new roman and then we can change the font style to something different like italic and you can also change the font weight and make it bold or bolder or lighter. Save again and refresh. We're going to skip the home font for now and hope that he catches up as we keep editing our site. Sometimes we're making edits a little bit too quick for the site to process in real time and that's just life. It usually catches up. And we're going to set a highlighted color now so that when someone's on a page tab, they know which tab they're on. And I'm just going to drop in this harmless pink color right here and save again. And now when someone's on a page tab, that page tab will highlight in a different color. Pretty cool. And it looks like Home has decided to catch up with the right font. Alright, to put in a Home icon next to Home, in case you don't want to use that Home link, you can just go to Other Graphical Elements and click on Navigation Bar Below Header because that applies to us, as opposed to Navigation Bar Above Header, which does not apply to us. And then just check Show an Icon under Show Home Page question mark. And save. And refresh and we have the nice home icon right there all right our menu is complete and now let's take care of some other major steps like changing the background of the site to change that background we're gonna want to be in skinning again and just click on body background in this section we're gonna need to set custom styles and instead of this background color of 444 or 444, we're going to upload an image. So just click Upload Image. Sometimes you need to click the Upload button a few times, and it actually works when it doesn't indent like that. It works when it just goes uh, flat like that. Interesting uh, little aspect about Suffusion. And now we're going to choose the Tahoe picture. I think I have Tahoe. You want your background to be humongous, ideally over 1000 by 1000 pixels. And you can find free images in Google Images. Just select uh, free of copyright or labeled for reuse in Google Images. For example, if you look up Tahoe and click Images, Search Tools, then you can change usage rights to Labeled for Reuse. All right, and I don't care about the trucks. I was just uh, really excited about the place, Tahoe, at the moment out in Nevada. All right, so then we can actually just save it like this. Top left is a good background position. If you have a pattern, then you might want it to repeat horizontally or vertically. But this image is big enough to cover the whole page on most screens. So let's save page. 
at refresh, and we have our nice background image, which, which we can see more of as our content goes down further. Like on the home page, we can see more of that background image looking good. Now to change the background color of the wrapper, which is this gray color you see inside the background but outside of our posts and our sidebar, just click main wrapper. Make sure to hit custom styles and put in your custom color right here. Although I like that hex right there, so let's keep that one. Now that we know how to change the background of our body and our wrapper, let's put a logo in. It actually took me forever to find where to put the logo in because if you click header, you're in the right place, but it's tough to figure out if you want a header background image or, you know, like a gradient in here. And these are all interesting options. If we choose gradient and of course select custom styles, please set this option to override the theme setting. You need to select custom styles. If we do that and check use a gradient, then we can get a interesting gradient effect. Like that on our header, if that's something that interests you. Again, make sure to select all the right checkboxes and there are a lot of options. So to use the gradient, you need custom styles and use a custom gradient. Or to use a header background image, you need use a predefined image and then header background image. Um, but in our case, we're actually going to just go for no image and we're going to use a logo. And to insert your logo, you want to go down to where it says all the way down to foreground image type. The foreground image is going to pop out in front of the header and in front of any background image. And we're going to use a predefined image or logo, so check there. And then pop on down to upload image. So instead of using the text like we see for the text logo, which you can change the color of and all that if you want down below. We're going to actually just upload our own logo. And I made the logo already on Pixlr.com, the free online photo editor. Super easy, and you can use Pixlr to combine text in different fonts with background styling and other images that you bring in from the web. You can grab logos like the WordPress logo and combine them with text easily and then save the files. And once you save them, you want to save that file as a PNG file and then just upload it to the Suffusion website. Pretty simple, as long as the upload button works. All right, and I know that I have my theme guides logo right there. And I can just save, save page header. So in that case, the save button is off to the left, but you want that save page header button. And refresh, and it should just show us our nice logo. Pretty cool. Because my logo, when it's done right, which it's not, by the way, uh, uses some of this blur effect on the text and on the, the WordPress image, I'm going to make the background a little bit darker so we can show that blur. So if you remember, go back to our main wrapper. And let's change the wrapper color to this other preset that I've made for us and save page wrapper and that will change this gray color right here that's outside the logo and in the sidebar and in these little line spaces. Refresh and something wasn't right so we need to check custom styles again custom styles. If it's not working, then you might need to just hit custom styles. Alright, still nothing. Still not working and it looks like I forgot to remove the transparency to 100. Remove the zero and make it 100. In the case of Suffusion, uh, transparency 100 means full color and transparency zero means no color. and Something like 30 or 40 might show part of the color 
but as you get closer to 100, it's going to show all of the custom color that we put in. So I hope that works. Refresh. And now we have the different color in our wrapper. Excellent. All right, guys, now that you've gotten this far with your site, why don't we learn how to make the whole content wider and use three columns, so two sidebars and one column for our content, because those sidebars are one of the most uh, unique and cool features of Suffusion, having multiple sidebars. I know that's really hard to create on most of the other WordPress themes, especially the free ones out there. You need to hire a developer or something but in this case, to create that second sidebar, it's really easy. Just go to Layouts. And once you're in Layouts, just select the front page, blog page views. And the way this works is you need to check one of these seven items. So no sidebars, one sidebar, two left, two right, which can be interesting. But we want one left and one right. And just by doing that and saving, we should get a wider site. And we actually don't get a wider site, but we get a different site. And this is great because we want this space on the left for our other sidebar. To create that wider site, like our demo site here, what you need to do is go back to this section. And because we chose one left, one right, in one left, one right tab right here, there's gonna be more options. This part's really cool and arguably the most important part of the tutorial, so listen up. In one left, one right, we're gonna check fluid flexible width just cause that's more responsive. And then we're gonna make the width of the page 100% of what it allows and save, which should stretch the entire content of our site. And now we have a wider site, which is awesome. More space to put in blog posts and awesome review posts and anything you want to write. The option instead of fluid flexible width is fixed width. And that's really good if you don't want your site to be responsive at all if you're just building a desktop site. Because down here in fixed width, then you can choose custom and make the site really wide by changing this value right here. But I just want a fluid flexible width site. And in fact, with Fluid Flexible, we can increase the maximum width within reason, not too much more. And we can try something like 1400 and then get an even wider site when we refresh, which is awesome. So now you have a lot more real estate to work with on your website. All right, we're making great progress. And I want to just now show you how to set up the home page featured post slider, which goes right under our nav menu. We're going to set up this thing right here. To create that, we need to go to other graphical elements. This is a really fun section that you can go to after you've mastered skinning and layouts. And uh, it's a lot of fun because there's more and more and more options to make your site look cool. We can now just go to the featured content where we are already. And I hope this is helping because this took forever for me to find as well. But what we want to do is in where to show, we want to click enabled. So you can enable the featured post slider on your main page. All right, so that's like the custom right there. Just click enabled. <clears throat> then moving down, we can see that we can show this slider on multiple pages but we only want it on the first page. So first page only. And we don't want the pages to have any featured content. We want the posts. So moving down in what to show, we can select first show duplicate posts because we just want that one. If you want to know why, then feel free to ask, but just make sure to check that. And now we can check um, show latest posts also. That will make sure that anything that's new is posted in the slider. Or you can even do it by category, which is good too. And I created a category earlier called featured. I should have told you guys that, but featured is a category. So if we were 
going by categories, if you had all this checked, including featured, da -da 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 -da, down at the bottom, we can just save. Now if we refresh, we'll get this section and it's going to pull in posts that have the category featured. So as I'm sure you know, if you have a category in the post, it shows up on the right, like featured. And any post that has that checked would now show up in the slider. It would show up with its featured image in the slider and this little excerpt. And the place where you can control this window, which we're going to need to do because everything is totally out of size, the place you can control that is at the bottom of featured content, all the way down. I know this might look confusing, but don't worry. Down here under how to show, we can see that it's going to start grabbing our featured image fields, which is good. That's the first thing it'll choose. So any featured image in the post will show up. And we can change things like the transition to slide, the duration, and we can change the height of the featured post section, like 400. And then down here, we can change the width of the featured post section, like 1000 and a height of 400. I really like those numbers because they look good with my images. And I'll show you in a second how to make it perfect. And then further down, you can choose to show post title and excerpt, or only post title, no excerpt. You know, only excerpt, something like that. And I want the position of the text to just be at the bottom, which means that the uh, black part right here will be at the bottom of the slider, because there's no point in confusing people in different locations. All right, I know that was a lot right there, but save and reset, save the page, rather don't reset, just save it. And now when we refresh, we get a much larger window and just the titles at the bottom, which is great. There's one more setting within here that we need to change though, because those images are still way too big. We need to check in image size and featured content, custom size defined below which we did. We made a custom width of featured image and custom height. And doing that will show more of the featured images in the slider as opposed to just like the top. So now we can see an entire featured image for our beach and for the bird. And Hello World needs a featured image. To make the images fill up your entire featured content slider, we need to edit the images in media. So let's remember the dimensions that we set of our custom width and custom height of featured image, which are 1,000 and 400, and go to Media, where we have all the images we've uploaded, and we can click on something like the beach, and then you can click Edit. And now this part is a little trick that a lot of WordPress designers actually don't know, even though it's one of the first things that they allowed us to do on WordPress, and that's just to change the crop and the aspect ratio. I'm going to put in a 10 and a 4, because that would correspond to 1000 width and 400 height, the size of the window that we made, and those custom width and height sizes, the size that we set in custom width and height. And now I'm just going to hold shift and click on the image to crop. You just have to click and drag the largest possible selection. Still holding shift and now I'm going to let go of shift and click crop. And then click save and that should actually change the image in size and preserve that 10 to 4 ratio or 1000 to 400. All right, now the image is changed, and I hope that when we refresh the site, it'll fill our entire slider perfectly with a nice, consistent border. And we can easily do that to the bird, or we can set a featured image on Hello World as well. All right, I'm just gonna check my notes here to make sure I tell you guys everything that I thought of. 
and we can do that little cropping trick to the featured content slider images to make them look perfect. I'm just going to do that to the bird image with you guys so we make sure we understand that. Just click edit image and to size this image down so it'll fit in the whole featured content slider and not just part of it choose the same ratio that you have in your custom settings for the slider and those settings again are just in other graphical elements featured content so that's this 1000 and this 400 again in other graphical elements featured content we want the images to be that ratio so let's hold shift and click anywhere on the image and drag and then adjust so we get the most possible image in the section and the best part of it and then click crop in the upper left and save all right and then if I did that once again for this image like 10 and that could be 100 to 40 or 6 to 5 or whatever your ratio is whatever height you want the featured content slider to be all right and then crop save and now I just need to set the hello world post to have a featured image so let's edit it and this is all normal WordPress stuff not really too specific to suffusion but makes the site look perfect all right great stuff guys now that our featured content slider is working I want to also say you could put text over the image here you could upload these images into Pixlr and then put some text on them on top of the image using Pixlr.com and that way you wouldn't need to include this uh, title or excerpt at all you could do it like this site right here that we saw at the beginning just some text and some styling on top of an image all right, now it's time to make use of our second sidebar and put in that social media section that we saw. So let's go ahead and do that. And I found this plugin again by looking at the showcase of Suffusion sites. So I found this cool plugin and looked at Inspect Element. You can use Inspect Element to discover virtually any part of a WordPress site. You can find out what plugin someone's using or what code they wrote or what theme they're running even and I discovered floating social media icon. So let's add that in plugins, add new, and we can do a quick search floating social media icon, probably a lot of social plugins so we want to be specific. Then just install now and activate the plugin and we now need to go to floating social media settings and insert the links to our social profiles and also choose the icon theme which is fun I like this one theme 3 with the sideways icons but there's a lot of them amazing what you get for free isn't it and now we can just choose a Twitter profile so I'll grab that link from Twitter and then find my Facebook page for Dear Blogger which I recommend you like if you want more free WordPress help. Don't really care about the newsfeed right now, just want this link. And there we go. Just get rid of that end part, and then we can also put in our YouTube. I'll just type that one out because it's pretty simple. Alright, and then uh, this part we want to actually choose manual only, otherwise, the icons will float to different parts of the site, which is kind of cool if you want to try it, but. I don't. And now when we refresh, we won't see anything. We need to go to Appearance Widgets to put in that social media icon section. And now with our new plugin, we have the section for uh, ACX social icons. And we can add it to sidebar too. And add widget. And save. And refresh, and we should have our social section working just fine. And those will open in a new tab. All right, everyone, make sure to subscribe to Narai Guy, and uh, you'll be all set for more WordPress help.
or don't either way but uh, nice to meet you either way um, and next up I want to put an ad in the header and get rid of tagline because that looks funny and, and goofy up there so let's go to my AdSense and get some code like this square from Dear Blogger. We can just get the code that was used on a different blog. That works fine and it's allowed and all. So we just go back now and we want the header widget because the header widget is right next to the sidebar. If you go on your site to the dashboard, back to Suffusion option, and then click on sidebars, then the top tab will show you how the site is designed and each one of these sections can be found either in widgets or in a different part of the site. So we want to target the right section and we want header widgets because that's right next to our header. We could put something in right header widgets or in widget below header but that would just be in a different section. Um, so that's for you to play around with but this can be very important. It's just an image that was created by the developer. So let's put a text widget, which is useful for AdSense code, into the... Da -da 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 -da. We want that in the... Where was it? Header widgets. Add widget. And then just paste in our code and save. And now we should have the AdSense add in. And if we don't, it means something's wrong. What's wrong? And after I spent all that time trying to enable our header widgets, I realized that my ad blocker was running on this domain, because I usually run it, and we can exclude it to show our ad. Cool. All right, now that we have an ad in the sidebar, we're looking great. Let's remove this unnecessary search bar in the sidebar. In widgets, just go to, um, sidebar one and delete the search. All right, so sidebar one is on the right and sidebar two is on the left. And if you wanted to change that, I'm sure you could, but that doesn't really matter. And things are looking pretty good. I wanna go back to the um, other graphical elements because it's the bomb. It's really where we can have fun once we know the basics of suffusion. And to edit our footer, I want to go to other graphical elements, footer. And we want to just say something else like my new website, which is still within that link, so this text will be linked. You can just write all rights reserved or something else in the footer. You can have some text in the central part of the footer too, like thanks for visiting. And let's see how that looks. Refresh. We have some cool stuff here now. We have the link changed and the center text. And on the right, we have the byline for the author, which is a nice credit for their hard work. If you want to remove that, you probably can, but you're going to have to go to Appearance Editor. And then look for the footer file over here, because it looks like we can't do that in the free version. So if we go to footer.php, I'm betting that we can change that. And I'm also going to recommend maybe not, because this code looks confusing. Confusing as ever. We're going to leave that backlink for the author, but if you really want to remove this section, then I'll look into it more. Just post a comment down below. I think the last thing I was going to show you, um, according to our list, was the post details. Like when you click into a post, how to make things look a little different. And so we can edit something like this uh, date box and that is in Suffusion Options, Skinning, Date Box. And this section we can change the color, the custom styles, and we can make that look different if we want, like custom color. And maybe we'll go with something that we've already used, like this green would be cool. All right, I wouldn't worry too much about that date box, but if you want to customize it, then this is the place to do it in date box. And you can also change the size and the font of the text. 
that text is in percentages and not pixels. Refresh, and we have our changes. Pretty cool. To change how your post looks, you can make use of different uh, post formats, like gallery, or link, or image. And doing some of these might actually make the post look worse. So I would just recommend the standard. However, clicking gallery and update gives you a different structure. Uh, now on the home page, another Tahoe post uh, looks a little different. It just uh, doesn't have the image anymore. So if you want to put a gallery next to a post, you can do that here. But you're going to have to put a little more work into this post. Well, it looks like the gallery doesn't want to work now for this post. Um, so the solution might be to refresh permalinks. I'm not sure, but you are pretty, pretty well off just selecting um, standard for this post format and then putting images in manually as you'd like. Or you can insert something like Meta Slider, a plugin that inserts a free image slider within the post, and you'll have a gallery like that. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Another thing you can do in posts is in layout. We can inherit uh, the other styles, like the two sidebars, which is called one left, one right, if you remember. And when we update, now the post will look like the home page. Pretty cool. Whereas these other posts just look like the normal layout with one sidebar and two columns. Just a bit of customization and style that uh, Suffusion offers you. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I know that is probably only about 10% or maybe 15% at the most of what you can do possibly with all the options in Suffusion. So if you have any more questions about designing stuff or if you see stuff around the showcase that you like and want to build, just let me know in the comments. Just ask a question and I'll be right there to help out any features at all uh, within reason hopefully and uh, please make sure to rate the video and share it with your friends that want to build a website that'd mean a lot to me thanks again for watching I hope you learned a lot have a good day or night and I'll see you next time all right thanks a lot guys